Well, the good news is that uh, we are making progress against the epidemic. Uh, we are in a much better place than we were a few months ago. The numbers over the last few weeks have come down, but now they've plateaued. So we still have, it says to us, we still have more work to do because we have new cases every day. And uh, so we continue to work on that effort and we're convinced we'll get there, but we're not there yet. It's in our interests and in the world's interests that we be successful in getting on top of this epidemic so we can get back to the work of building the country. Liberia is a, is a very compelling place to live and work, and Liberians are an extremely warm and hospitable uh, people. I think it would be impossible to be human and not have been moved by the impact uh, that this uh, epidemic has had on Liberians. It's been very tough to watch all of us as we now, you know, are afraid to touch hands, we're afraid to get too close to people, um, and, and then the, the, the direct personal impact it's had on a number of people who've lost family members. It's it's very sad. I certainly feel like we're making a significant progress, that the surge in cases has dramatically declined, uh, but we also still recognize that there's a lot of work left to be done, that to get from where we are to zero cases requires new thinking, new strategies, and a really renewed effort to, to take this all the way. We're remaining flexible and, and fast and continuing to work to establish a, a backbone of capacity to treat cases wherever we encounter them uh, and to bring online uh, new capabilities to rapidly investigate and, uh, and, and treat cases wherever they uh, occur. The, the current outbreak is still in a very dangerous place. Uh, we're back to where cases were in August and uh, we saw what happened in September here. So the, the key shift is that in the, in the past month, we've been dealing with the consequences of the virus and working to uh, deal with those who are sick and uh, bury or cremate those who died. And now we're shifting to preventing transmission and to dealing uh, with the disease before it transmits, really trying to cut it off.